And finally, the last portion of this project, uh, you can see here that we have a feature here. This is going to be a road edge of pavement feature. It's coming from one of the reference files. And on this particular part, we want to add that feature as a point control. What the point control will do will override any existing template constraints. So we have a point, um, edge of pavement point in our template, which we'll show right now. And we're just going to control it horizontally uh, with that horizontal feature. So as we open this template here, let's zoom in to the point. We're going to be looking at this EOP R point. This is the point that we will control. I'm actually going to right click on it and test the horizontal point controls on it. I'll zoom out a little bit so we can get a better understanding. So as you can see, we're going to control it horizontally with that feature with a uh, point control. And then as you can see, we'll just control the offset. It'll maintain the same slope constraint, but we'll just control the offset that way. So I'll cancel here. And uh, to add this as a point control, I can go up here to edit, create point control, and I'll locate the corridor. Do my, my start station. Let's do it right here. And then my stop station will be all the way at station 9100. I'll key that in. Accept that. Let's name this EOP R. Accept that. Here I'm prompted to locate uh, the point. Actually, um, I'll grab this from the dialog box. Uh, I know it's EOP R. There it is right there. And we want to control it horizontally, so I'll accept that as yes. This is linear geometry. And then I'm prompted to locate the point or the feature here, which I'll grab that. And we'll add this as a secondary alignment as well. So I'll hit yes on that. Start offset zero, stop zero, and data point to accept. Now that the corridor is done processing, we can review the 3D model in this area. Uh, you can see where the edge of pavement point is following the edge of pavement feature that we use as a point control. It is tapering out and creating additional lanes there and following that feature that we use as a point control. And this concludes my presentation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.